Hi, and welcome to SPEC 2022. Spotify is everywhere. It's in your phone, your laptop, your watch, your car. Spotify is also used by over 400 million users all over the world speaking different languages. So how can we make sure that we provide them an amazing Spotify experience? No matter what device they are using, no matter what they are, where, where they are, and no matter what uh, needs that they might have. And taking into, into account all of these challenges, how do we make sure that we build the UIs for these experiences efficiently and fast? So at Spotify, we do this through Encore. Encore is a family of design systems, and, they, they are the, and these, these systems are the Spotify design system. I'm Tanya Pinheiro, and I'm, I've been working on Encore since its launch back in 2019. Today, I'm part of one of the mobile in, uh, engineering teams that's working on Encore and, building, and helping you build um, mobile UIs faster. When we created Encore back in, in 2019, we knew that we needed a, um, a common foundation, a place to hold, a home to hold all the, all the things that make Spotify look like Spotify. And then we, so then we created Foundation. Foundation is the home for all the, the basic design elements. Think about colors, themes, fonts, icons, any other, any other design, basic design uh, elements that are necessary to all the platforms and all the products. And because we need to cater for all the platforms, Encore Foundation also has um, um, a very complex pipeline to be able to provide these design elements into each platform in a way that's consumable. Moreover, it's integrated with Figma. Figma is the, the official design tool at Spotify, and it's crucial to have foundation integrated in Figma so that designers can work already on top of what foundation is, is providing. Another important integration is um, documentation. Foundation is integrated with our internal documentation website. So any change that happens in Foundation is immediately reflected into our documentation, so it's always up to date. But Encore was not the first time that we tried to create a design system at Spotify. So back when we created Encore, we looked at what's already available, and we saw that there was a very well-maintained design system but only for web. So we took that system, we adapted so it would follow the Encore guidelines and would consume all the design elements from Foundation, and that, will, that became Encore Web. Today, there are a couple of lo local web lo local design systems that are built on top of web. It, make, it takes advantage of what's already available inside Encore Web, and they can make, um, make it more specific to the product. A local system is just a design system that has specific requirements for a specific, that has specific requirements for a product or, a, or an experience. Taking advantage of what's already in, in Encore Web and also what's in, inside Foundation so that all the design elements are always aligned. But on mobile, it's also important to have local design systems. Again, when we created Encore, there was a, a huge need to unify the experience on mobile, specifically to unify the experience on the music app. So we created a mobile local system for that. One example is the headers component. This component can be seen on the artist page, on the album page, on the podcast page, and other pages. It's the same component, but adapt, adapted to different pages. It also, consumes every, it also consumes everything from foundation. The icons, the typography, 
the styles, everything that comes from foundation. So it's always aligned with the, our, our latest updates. But this component is quite complex. And it has animations, and it has things moving, it has buttons. So how easy it is to create this very complex component just from what we deliver from foundation. We look at it and we saw the same workarounds, the same custom, custom solutions built by every team over and over again. So that's why we are introducing a new design system. I'm proud to present you Anchor Mobile. Anchor Mobile is the home for all common UI elements, UI components, um, for mobile platforms. It's a, it's a sister design system to web. Web also provides common generic components, and mobile will, Anchor Mobile will do the same. So now we have our family complete. We have foundation at its core with, with um, basic design ele elements that are consumed by Anchor Web and Anchor Mobile, which provide generic and common UI components. And then on the outer layer, we have the, 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 um, the uh, local design systems catered to each product or platform. But these, all of these um, systems have, um, all of these systems are anchor systems, and they have one thing in common. They have one thing in common. Yes. Um, so all of these systems provide design, code, and documentation. By providing design, we mean they provide all the Figma toolkits and all the design assets necessary to design with this design with this with this specific design system. With code, we mean it, that, each, that each system should provide libraries, tooling, and any other means required to be able to develop with these systems. And last but not least, these systems need to have documentation. And this documentation will tie up design with code. This trio forms one common language so that designers and engineers can understand each other and improve collaboration. So, going back to Anchor Mobile. So, Anchor Mobile is now part of the Anchor family. It will provide common, generic UI components for the mobile platforms with, with the aim to accelerate UI development. It also contains the code, design, and documentation I just talked about. So what can we expect from the Incor Mobile components themselves? So we want these components to be robust, generic components. <laughs> robust and generic. By robust, we mean that these components will be used by any product, any app. So they need to be well tested, and <clears throat> we need to make sure that they do what, the, what we want them to do. And by generic, we mean they, they, they need to be generic enough to be able to use by any product, so it's not tied to any, any, any specific product. This, these components also need to be very easy to use to be able to accelerate the UI development. So we, we want to provide a lot of out-of-the-box features, so you don't have to do anything. And any APIs should be very, very easy to use. Anchor Mobile components also need to be aligned with other systems. It needs to consume all the design elements from Foundation. It needs to be aligned with Anchor Web, because we provide similar components, and any similar component that we have sh should behave the same on web and mobile. And also needs to be aligned with existing mobile local systems. So make sure that we cater for their needs. So let's look at some of the components we've been working on. And we started with text. Text is very, very important design element. In fact, 
we have our own custom Spotify font, circular. And we also provide um, a very good hierarchy of type styles from foundation. But that's not nearly enough to attend to the challenges that we have with text. So, besides not uh, having limited support for non-Latin languages, we also found many, many issues with tall scripts, where the text is not rendering properly, so it's, it's not readable. So, by far, the biggest challenge with, with the text component is localization. And localization is, is typically um, done through the device local. However, that's not enough for our global audience. They can be anywhere, consuming any content in any language. So we create the text component with out-of-the-box localization, which means you don't have to do anything. And we do that by not relying on the device lo locale anymore, but by looking at the text that needs to render and picking the correct sp script for you. So making sure that the text is always uh, rendered correctly on the screen. We also added support for more scripts. So now we have support for Latin, Arabic, Cyrillic, Devanagari, Greek, and Hebrew. Alongside the effort we did with localization, we also made an extensive investigation around accessibility and compiled a list of accessibility best practices for you to follow. And if text is important, icons is also very important. Our icons are inspired by our typeface, designed to, to, to look and feel like they, are, they, like they belong in the same, the same family. Very recently, we updated all our icon suite. It, it improved readability and other, other issues we had at the moment. So now we have a brand new icon suite, and it was a perfect opportunity to, to look at how icons are being consumed within the Spotify product. And we found many, many issues with this. One of the issues was picking the correct icon size. Because we provide more than one asset to, the, to, the, to, to each icon, it, 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 lo, it, sorry, it makes it harder for the developer or the, the engineer to know which icon to use. So we built a new icons component with out-of-the-box auto-sizing. So we pick the right size for you, and you don't need to worry about that. Another problem we've seen, we've seen countless times and over and over again was having to pick the correct asset, uh, the, the correct asset to denote the active state for the icon. So it, we also included that into our new icons component. Next, we look at buttons. Buttons are the way that the user interacts with, with the product. They are very important, and again, we did an investigation, and we, we already know some things that we want to provide. At the moment, our, our um, set of buttons is quite small. It does not cover all the use cases. So we definitely want to add more button variants to make sure that we cover all the use cases for all the products. Th these buttons also need to be aligned with Anchor Web, because buttons on web should behave exactly the same as, as on mobile. So it's not Anchor Web bu button or Anchor Mobile button, it's just an Anchor button. We also want to make sure that we leverage the functionality that we created with text and icon, specifically the localization with text, and the states feature with icons to leverage the button component and make it more simple to develop. Last but not least, we want to ensure accessibility. Accessibility is ex extremely important because if the user cannot use the button, it, it's not, it, it, it breaks the whole experience. 
Specifically, we want to, we want to make sure that the, we follow accessibility guidelines around touch targets and color contrast. So we look at text icons and buttons. Text is available today on iOS, and it's rolled out for all products and all platforms. On Android, it will be rolled out very soon. The icons component will be rolled out on iOS and Android very soon as well. The button component is still in discovery phase, but its development will start soon. So while developing these components, we've encountered ourselves many times asking the same questions or needing the same kind of tooling. So we created a components infrastructure. And this came in three parts. First, we created an analytics infrastructure. This, this infrastructure allows us to have more insight into how these components are currently being used, how the legacy component, how the current implementation is being used at Spotify, so we can improve our um, new components. And it also gives us information into how the adoption and migration processes are going. Then we, fo we also have tooling. The biggest piece in tooling that we improved was snapshot testing. With so many products, we cannot test every single one. So it's very important for us that the components are well tested and that we know that each change that we make is an intended change. And for that, we use snapshot testing. We also created any extra tooling that we needed to debug these, these um, components. Last but not least, we also look at the documentation. We set the standard of what a component documentation should look like and align that with Anchor Web. This will bring familiarity and structure to the documentation of, of um, components, of Anchor components. So, What's next? Definitely we we'll want to work on more components, but right now we want to finish developing buttons and focus on the adoption and migration of these three components, text, icons and buttons, to all the products across Spotify. So, in summary, Encor is a family of design systems and is the Spotify design system. It solves many hard problems like cross-platform distribution, accessibility, and localization, while still accelerating UI development for Spotify. Last year, we started working on a new design system for mobile, Anchor Mobile. It aims to accelerate UI development by providing generic UI components that can be used across all the products in all the mobile platforms. So far, we work on text, icons, and buttons, but more, more components will follow. Encore is paving the way for more streamlined and unified Spotify experiences, while still accelerating UI development, giving Spotifyers more time and more freedom to work and build amazing Spotify experiences. After all, Spotify is everywhere, and so is Encore. Thank you.